The investigation into a New Mexico DA over her use of a state-issued car is far from over. The scandal surfaced after Francesca Estevez damaged her work car, and video showed police cutting her a break. Now on special assignment, Chris McKee has obtained new information showing more problems with more cars. A scuffed and scratched up 2013 Toyota Camry and a dented 2014 Ford F-150 with deep gouges in the paint. They are both state-owned cars with significant damage documented by receipts for repair. But those documents also raise new questions. Did the district attorney's office in charge of those vehicles ever report that damage to police? So am I in trouble? Francesca Estevez oversees those cars as the DA representing Grant, Hidalgo, and Luna counties in southwest New Mexico. She's also the subject of an abuse of power investigation by the New Mexico Attorney General's office following a traffic stop last summer. I didn't think I did anything wrong except that I swerved to try to maintain control. So here he goes. A witness took this video of Estevez driving a state car while off duty on a Saturday in June. The driver called 911 as the DA was swerving all over a highway. Oh, he's gonna go. Going off. Gonna lose it. Police caught up with her in Silver City. Hi. Esteva said she was running a personal errand. The car had a flat tire and more. Yeah, I don't know what she ran over in here, man. In reports, several officers noted, quote, the front bumper was covered with vegetation. The AG's investigators raided Esteva's Silver City office last month, seizing that blue Dodge Charger along with receipts, maintenance logs, and other driving records. Investigators, in part, are trying to determine if Esteva's criminally abused her state vehicle privileges by using work cars and gas cards on her personal time. But the search warrant also says, quote, it is unknown how, to whom, or by whom payment was made for maintenance, repairs, or replacement to Estevez's state vehicle, whether any insurance claims were made through the state, or whether this damage was reported as required by state law. Estevez should know the rules. When she got a flat, she told officers about that requirement to report crashes in state-owned cars. So am I in trouble? Do I have to report that? Well, I don't know. I have a flat tire. And I have to report that to the state. A flat tire will get you in trouble? No, anytime the vehicle is injured, that's considered an New Mexico law requires a police report to be filed if the car has more than $500 in damage. That's ideally so the state can see if it should be paying the bill or to see if the driver should be in trouble for the crash. But as News 13 has learned, there are other vehicles under Estevez's office's control that have been damaged in the past, and it doesn't appear crash reports were ever filed. In January 2015, the New Mexico Department of Finance approved a $552 bill to the DA's office from a Silver City car dealership for repair of a white 2014 Ford F-150 truck. The receipt says, quote, Customer states there is body damage to the right side of vehicle. Check and advise. When we saw the truck at the DA's office in July, there were deep scratches in the truck's paint and a large gash or dent on the front passenger door. Also in January 2015, the DA's office brought in this black 2013 Toyota Camry. According to a receipt approved by the state, the DA's office spent $2,578 to repair that car. The receipt says, quote, customer hit an embankment, check vehicle for damage, and secure any damaged body parts if possible. It's unclear when these pictures obtained by News 13 were taken, but the photos show the car at one point had significant scratches. The damage to both cars totals more than $3,000. News 13 filed public records requests with Silver City Police, the Grant County Sheriff's Office, and New Mexico State Police, requesting any crash reports filed for the cars in question. Each agency told us there were no reports on file. So it remains unclear who was driving those cars and how they were damaged. The 6th Judicial District Attorney's Office controls its own motor pool. That means DA Francesca Estevez has ultimate oversight over her own office's cars and records. We called Estevez's office this week to ask her about the damaged cars. Okay, thank you very much. But like our other questions to the DA, 
She hasn't given an explanation in her own words. On special assignment, Chris McKee, KRQE News 13. Estevez, who makes $110,000 a year as a public official, never returned our call. She instead had her private attorney call News 13, who offered no answers. Open the KRQE News app now, and you can take a look at the pictures of those damaged cars and those repair receipts we uncovered.